Okay. Oh, I can okay. see the E now. Right. Come on, okay. Jim. All right. All right, Jimmy. Here's my idea. Let's do it. If we were a professional ball team, whether it be baseball, basketball, hockey, which is not a ball team, or football, who would we want to give the ball to? We'd want to give the ball to the player who scores the most, right? Yes. Okay. Right. We don't want to give it to the guy that pass it to passes. the score. No, no, we don't no. want to give it to the guy that fumbles. No, no, no. We don't want to give it to the guy no. that don't shoot. No, no. 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 The guy that scores. Score. Yeah, baby. Yes. Okay. Now, Put it in. How do we figure out on our teams who the guy is or gal who scores? We sleep with them. <laughs> That's one way. Okay. Another way. You score. If we track, you win. If we track how many ups each one of our players has, and if we find out what the closing ratio is per week, per consultant, that player, the best player, will shine. We'll have salespeople at 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%. Whoever that is, that's who gets our precious internet ball. You can't have the ball unless you can catch, unless you can run, or unless you can shoot. Now, everybody gets a chance because the following week, everybody starts at zero. He wrote a zero. And the following week, it might be Sean one week, it might be JD another week. Whoever the top performers, what about Ralph? That's who is going to carry that ball. And the ball is the I take the T.O. That's the ball. Any questions? Excellent. Thank you.